Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Okay. So, uh, this is going to be Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Moon, and uh, Capricorn Rising. Uh, monthly Tower reading for July 2019. And uh, bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the Tower cards. And uh, we can jump straight away to the reading. Alright, so the first card which stands for the topic of Capricorn's month, that is going to be uh, the Justice card, followed by the second one which stands for the peripheral activities here for Capricorn, this is going to be uh, the um, Eight of uh, Pentacles. Afterwards, what we have is the challenge that Capricorn needs to overcome throughout the month, this is going to be the Devil card. Then what we have it's uh, the positive aspect of the month, and this is going to be the Hermit. And the last one that we have is going to be the uh, Guidance for Capricorns for throughout the month. And we do uh, got the, the Lover's card. Wow. All right, so it's, it's a four out of five major arcana, so it's a pretty important month for what it seems. But let, let's go th one more time through... Uh, through the whole five cards. Uh, the first one, which is the topic, once again, is going to be the justice, followed by the second one, which stands for the peripheral activities, uh, that will be the Eight of Pentacles. Then it is the challenge here, which is quite baffling that we do have the devil card, really. Um, yeah, but it is the devil. Then uh, it's the uh, positive aspect here of the month, that is to be the, the uh, hermit card. And then the last one, is going to be the lovers, which is the guidance. And out I, as I said, it is a baffling. Actually, the devil and the hermit are, are very tightly connected here into this reading. Um, so pretty much the month, uh, it looks like that is going to be a confirmation for a gold thing, all right? That uh, a, a gold green light or something. It doesn't matter, and. Uh, well, it does matter, you know, but it's going to be a green light about something if you are expecting a confirmation or a sign, you know, that you have to do uh, something in your life that you are either reluctant to do or, you know, you you kind of face any predicaments to do. You are to have those things dropping off, which means the predicaments or, you know, the reluctancy. And then uh, what happens here is, is that... Um, you have to make the you, you have to find the right way to do it okay uh but that will be that is the tight connection in between the devil and uh, the the hermit it's it's very peculiar it's very powerful if i might say it that way because you can do the things very wrongly here um while there is a way how the things can be done extremely w w with a surgical precision if i may express it that way 
but uh, we're gonna get that in into this in a minute and let's first discuss the very first card which is the topic of the month and that will be the justice so the justice here what, what it does says it says first of all the most trivial interpretation justice law and order are going to be in place so which means that whatever is going out of the ordinary for you well it's going to be set back into its place but on top of that guys the justice is all about being accountable not only toward the situation into your marriage and into your career or into your friendships but accountable toward oneself so meaning that if something doesn't suit you well then the month itself is going to be a a month where you are going to sort that thing out one way or another because even though you have to be accountable to all the situation the justice screams out that you need to be accountable first and foremost towards yourself okay and that could be a, a thing that you are going to realize no different than for example that you're giving way too much from yourself to the others while in the same time you are neglecting yourself you're neglecting your needs you are neglecting you know the states of your family you are neglecting your career no different than if you are toiling upon a very important project that it is a big deal for you you know and suddenly some colleague of yours comes around and say hey man can you help me with my thing and because you are way too kind to say i'm busy right now you know and i can't because all my all of my time and efforts are devoured by that important project you say yeah sure and you completely neglect what is important for you to sort out what is important for somebody else so that thing is going to be totally over you are going to think or you are going to start thinking first and foremost for yourself because you are to recognize what is substantial for you and this is the tight connection in between the devil and the hermit the accompanied card is going to be the ten of wands <clears throat> here and the combination it is a active uh, friends that we do have so uh, as i said recognizing what is substantial and as well and as well where the awesome opportunity lies in front of you an opportunity which i said it already it does require a lot of toils as you can see how the guys toils here and uh, a lot of time and how can i place it in efforts as well and it also it will require a, a certain a certain consistency of moves you you cannot just do the things the way you want to do them if i may express myself that way but there is an established rules and ways of how um you know you can um achieve that substantial thing of yourself no different than let's say that you and your you you have an ex-wife or an ex-husband it doesn't matter but you are still married on paper and you are um having a beautiful relationship with someone else well you may want to be married right but first you have to get divorced so it's not about what you um how you want to have what thing that you want all right but it's how it can be achieved all right and it's that thing that you are going to recognize and this month is where you start structuring the, the appropriate and the right moves how you can make that thing reality right then we go to the peripheral activities and we do have the uh, eight of pentacles so aside from this major breakthrough i mean mental breakthrough that you're gonna have on top of that guys it seems that you are gonna have an opportunity to uh, start initiating something that took a long plan a lot long time to develop you know but it is yet not substantial for you so we do have two parallel big endeavors that you are going to push through throughout the months one that it is like i said substantial and one that it is not that important so it's very important that you do have your time managed correctly in between those two endeavors this one here that is marked with the eight of pentacles most likely will improve significantly your standard of life your comfortability as well you know and how to, to, to feel yourself cozy and, and somewhat fulfilled um aside you know from the big endeavor here that you are that you are going to try to figure out how to make it as best as you can <clears throat> The accompanied card here is going to be uh, the uh, Knight of uh, the Knight of Swords. 
the formation it is a, a passive enemies that we do have so uh, pretty much th this is gonna go quite easy on you here with these cards because really there won't be anything that you will that you're gonna struggle figuring out with that peripheral big endeavor of yours it's just is going to be pretty straightforward and whenever you have the time to attend to it you know you just you just do it whatever you don't you, you simply you know put it uh, to linger uh, to linger aside and attend to it uh, when you when you have like i said you know a free time it's not going to be a thing that you need to that you need to kind of like uh, yeah, it's figuring out, but it's not going to be a rocket science, is what I'm trying to say. It's pretty narrow, it's pretty straightforward, and whenever you have a time for it, then, you know, if you feel like it, you can um, actually attend to it. It's no different than, for example, having a hobby for a business, but it's not your major business, so whenever you have a time for it, then, then that's pretty much good. I mean, you are pretty skilled in it, as we can see with the uh, Eight of Pentacles, you do have these these eyes for the subtleties and especially with the uh, Knights of Swords here, it doesn't look like that they're gonna be a situation where you are gonna be baffled or reluctant to do anything there. So yeah, it's, it does look like, guys, that um, it will be a, a, peripheral, uh, peripheral activity and peripheral thing that you're gonna feel quite confident about. Uh, and then we go to the challenge and that will be the Devil. So the devil is about a, a very strong push here. And now I am also interpreting this card in a conjunction with the uh, with the hermit because they just go side by side here into, into this reading. And uh, with the devil on a challenge, it is because you finally discovered, you know, and figured out uh, the, the, the substantial thing about you. Uh, for example, not being happy into your marriage or being happy into your marriage or being happy with someone else, you know, or um, having this project that you need to push really through, that gives you, you know, the power to really do it at, at will, okay? And as I said, there is a, a particular way how that thing should be, uh, should be established and how that thing should be pushed forward. And uh, it, 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 all comes, it, it all comes to patience here. The, the challenge itself is to resist the urge of, or the surge, excuse me, of the power that you're going to have to, to make it happen. At least for the time being, because there is more intelligent and more wise way to do it, all right? Where it's going to be less painful for yourself, for the people around you, and it's going to create less predicaments furthermore down the road in your distant future. No different than uh, for the example where you do have an ex and you do have a person and you want to marry, you know? So you force really hard on the... Um, how can I place it on the uh, on the divorce and you do the divorce regardless of the circumstances and suddenly you may find out that you could have struck a better deal if you have waited a little bit longer all right so do not be do not be that tempted you know to act upon the power that you do have upon the faithful circumstances that you are creating through the um, through the insight of what is substantial for yourself. The accompanied card here is going to be the star card. So the formation, it is a, a passive enemies, all right? We do have passive enemies here. And truly, they, they, this is a, a prolonged period of time, all right? You, you don't have to, um, like I said, uh, exert everything you got right now into this moment. As a matter of fact, you have to be very smart about it, almost as uh, surreptitious, if you want to say it, uh, if you want to say it that way, so you can make the best out of it. Okay. So uh, the other the other thing is, um, as we are following the example with the coworker, right? So it comes to you, asks you for a help, but you do have, but you do have that important project. You simply cannot spare time, or you can't spare time, but that will lead to a failure of your project. You, you may not want to say, well, how can I place it? Um, you don't have to be rude about it, all right? Or you may say that you are going to take a look at it when you have a time, you know, and probably your coworker will say, okay, man, you got it. And, uh, well, they will be tired of waiting and will find someone else to help them, you know, but they're not going to hold a grudge toward you while you are going to say, no, can't you see that I'm busy right now? Go find yourself someone else. Well, that will kind of like make them more hostile to you. It's it's kind of obvious. So yeah, there is a, a very 
finest way how uh, you can take advantage of uh, of these uh, accountable things and, and substantial things for yourself. It's it's a very difficult reading. I, I give it that. I mean, it's um, because it's about a big thing, all right? It is a about big thing and it is a about uh, you making significant progress and that is uh in the next card here which is the the hermit so the hermit in a positive aspect points that should you approach all these matters or the matter which is substantial for you with a great portion of intelligence wisdom and being clever about it all right uh, well, that will pretty much grant you a, I cannot say new beginning, but let's say new direction, the right direction, okay? And additionally to that, the Hermit gives you a, uh, it, yeah, it, it gives you time to think about it additionally to that. Uh, but it is important, uh, guys, in this moment to withdraw yourself from the world and from, from the ideas of the others, just find a quiet place you know where you can think about it and find the best possible strategy according to the situation where it does not rely on someone else's you know condition or on someone else's judgment or someone else's performance as well because there is such a way after all we talked about accountability toward oneself and not toward uh, the others the accompanied card here is going to be the six of uh, cups the formation it is a passive friends that we do have so with the six of cups it looks like that um should you give yourself the time to exert your wisdom strategy uh you know and as well intelligence into the matter uh well the the whole performance is going to be very pleasant with the, the six of pentacles actually with the six of cups excuse me actually it does look like that you're going to experience a lot of uh, a lot of exhilaration moving down the road not to mention that you ain't gonna have any regret whatsoever for what you have to do along the way to uh, make that thing you find substantial for yourself reality all right so there as you can see in this reading capricorns there is a lot of conditions that you have to fit in guys and it's uh but uh, like i said that will happen in a prolonged period of time you don't if you feel that it is quite overburdening and that, that you are bearing a great responsibilities on your shoulders just you know Take your breath, guys, and uh, withdraw yourself, like I said, from everybody and from everything, just to, just to think about it. And finally, we do have the guidance, and that will be the lovers. And the lovers point that uh, the decision you are about to make, because whatever we talked about here, it all comes to a, a decision, either how you're going to do it or should you do it, all right? So the decision that you have to make, you need to know that it's not about doing what is right and what is wrong for the grand scheme of things. It's doing about what is right and what is wrong towards yourself. Know that there is no right or wrong decision here, okay? But you have to bear the consequences of your actions. Following, you know, uh, the, you help to the co-worker and you fail in the project. Well, of course, this co-worker will be very appreciative, you know, and you probably are going to win the friends to your life. But you failed in the project. So you win something and you lose something. It's same thing in the relationships as well. So you have to be ready to make some sort of a sacrifice. Accept it like this. You do have a couple of ways, all right? You do have two ways that you can move on forward with, all right? And you have to choose only the one of them, all right? You, you cannot afterwards deviate and get the other one where to have the two destinations completed. You can only have one of these destinations and that is why it's important here to take your time and decide how you're gonna do it and uh the next card it's or the last card here it is the two of swords which is the um the catalyst active supporters is what we do have here one card of a uh, another card of confirmation that you gotta take your time because with the uh, lovers the two of swords points that you need to maintain equilibrium for the time being 
for the month of July to scale out all possibilities, you know, all pros and cons of the two paths that you can take, one that is accountable towards yourself and one that is accountable toward the others. Now, you need to know that this reading urges you to take the one that is accountable towards yourself, but sometimes, you know, I, well, how can I describe it? Sometimes people decide otherwise. You need to know the tarot is not designed to take away your free will. It just t tells you, um, you know, conditions and supposedly what is best for you according to them. But you don't know toward what end that is going to happen. So feel free to make that decision for yourself at the end of the day. I just know that this is going to be a big month, guys, probably a quite decisive month where you either, you know, going to, well, it's not either, but it's a month where probably it's going to decide your next couple of next year or couple of years, maybe your life as well. And you have to approach the situation of a decision, a deciding situation with a great amount of, like I said, a, a self-accountability and as well have the, the strength to resist the urge to act straight away because it's a very substantial circumstances, you know, and it's a very, it, it is kind of like a very important matter and it has to be attended with appropriate intelligence and wisdom as well. So that being said, Capricorns, this was your monthly uh, tarot reading for July 2019. Big month, guys. Big month is coming for you. And uh, I hope that at the end, the majority of you, I hope that all of you, for that matter, ends up very, very happy of how they took on this a uh, substantial circumstances for themselves and that they have made the right choice for themselves, right? Not for the others, not for the situation, but for themselves. So yeah, that was your reading and uh, I hope that we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.